Greetings lords and ladies, and welcome to the Westeros Vibe, where wine vintage is not improved by adding a corpse. We begin this week with spoilery news. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Game of Thrones Zaloom spotted in Belfast, is Lady Stoneheart far behind? After last week's announcement that David Bradley will resume his role as Lord Walder Frey in future, not mentioning the season in which he will return, he has been spotted in Belfast. Due to the fact that he isn't working on any projects in the area, and because Belfast is ground zero for Game of Thrones filming, this has led to speculation that Frey will make his comeback in season 6. The article also points out the casting call for a hapless son which could be Merit Frey, thus leading to the speculation I touched upon last week, that Lady Stoneheart will finally show up next season. If Michelle Fairley will play her undead self, then this piece of speculation can only be confirmed when someone actually witnesses her somewhere near filming locations. However, there is the possibility that they will just cast another person as Lady Stoneheart, as makeup can work wonders nowadays. Continuing, we have Game of Thrones filming in Glenarm. Reports and tweets are confirming that filming has begun in the region of Glenarm, although there is no information about the content of the scenes being filmed. Even so, people have been drawing parallels between the sites in that area and the last Danny scene in Season 5, leading to the theory that they may be shooting either a Dario Jora scene on the hunt for their queen, or Danny riding with the Kalasar Summer. Another possibility is, of course, Brienne and Pod's eventual journey this season. In other news, Game of Thrones Season 6 set pictures. Quite a general title for quite a straightforward subject. Maisie Williams, who plays a lovable child killer Arya, has been photographed while shooting a swimming scene in what appears to be one of Bravos' many canals. My personal theory is that she has spotted Gendry, who is still rowing by the way, and is desperately trying to reach him and drag him back into the show. Or it may be another scene lifted from the books, where a certain Westerosi is thrown in a canal and is drowning. Whatever the case, we can hope that the water was warm. Following up on the last story, we have Game of Thrones Season 6 Spoilers. Maisie Williams spotted filming watery Arya Stark scene. From this story, we learn that the scene's shot will be featured in either episodes 7 or 8, due to the presence of those episodes director on set. We also get some extra pictures, which you can check out by clicking the link in the, in the description below. In other news, Game of Thrones Season 6 director talks Jon Snow cliffhanger, going off book. Gold Derby, the director of the Season 5 episodes Unbowed, Unbent, Unbroken and Kill the Boy, has given a short interview. In it he talks briefly about the Season 5 finale and about the challenge of adapting an unwritten book based on the conversa conversations between George and the showrunners. The link to the article is in the video description below. Moving on, we have Game of Thrones director Jeremy Podesva on how they shot Sansa's rape scene, teases season 6. This article contains multiple pieces of interesting information. Firstly, he addresses the Sansa rape scene, which they knew going in that it was going to be a controversial one because of the connection some viewers had forged with the character. Thus, they tried to shoot it as delicately and carefully as possible, which they succeeded. The sight of Theon's expression painted the awful picture better than any graphic sex scene. Talking about season 6, he has revealed some tantalizing info regarding pacing and story development. According to him, every character in the show will have an amazing storyline as the world contracts like in the last two books. Also, the first two episodes, which he will direct, will not be the usual catching up episodes, but they will bring us straight into the action and continue from where season 5 left off, heading to what he describes as an exciting destination. Continuing we have, an extra talks about what it's like to film Game of Thrones. It is a short article with a few paragraphs in which a Spanish extra 
describes the experience of spending a few days in the Marine set. The overall impression was great and it felt very real, almost like he could have gotten lost in that world. For the full quotes, follow the link in the description below. In other news, these two Game of Thrones stars may be dating. Dean Charles Chapman who plays Tom, Tom Baratheon and Nell Tiger Free, Marcella Baratheon have started dating in the present day world. It's not a particularly crucial news item, however it does open up a lot of joke potential. Apparently they are channeling their inner instincts inherited from their parents. Moving on we have Game of Thrones Season 6 Spoilers Loras Tyrell dies, Arya regains her sight in Episode 7. Along with the information I covered earlier regarding Arya, this article references a Finn Jones interview in which he hints at some dramatic changes with which Loras will experience during his, his imprisonment. These could be anything, from giving him the blue bar treatment so that he could lie about his sister, to his catching pneumonia, to even having to face Sir Robert Strong in, in a trial by combat. Whatever is in store for the Knight of Flowers, we can be sure that it isn't going to be pleasant. In other news, Game of Thrones Season 6 won't shoot in Croatia, HBO confirms, so don't expect much from King's Landing. HBO has released the following statement. The question of whether the production will return to Croatia in the future will be decided once additional seasons are officially set by HBO. At that time, the production, along with HBO, will assess the location needs based on the scripts and storylines. HBO remains grateful to the HAVC and the Croatian crew for all their continued support. This suggests that we will not see any outside scenes of the ramparts or gardens in King's Landing, and that most scenes will be indoor. This makes sense as the main characters, Cersei, Marjorie and Loras, will be spending a lot of time indoors, either in their quarters, washing up 10 times a day, or in dungeons. Dubrovnik will have to be patient for a year or two until the show may have need of it again. Moving on to... George R. R. Martin resigns himself to the fact that HBO may finish Game of Thrones before he does. The title says it all, really. For your enjoyment, here are some choice quotes from the article. The show is moving for like a locomotive, or sometimes a jet locomotive. They're writing 60-page uh, scripts, I'm writing 1500-page novels. So who the hell knows? Yeah, well, worrying about it isn't going to change it one way or another. I still sit down at my typewriter, and I have to write the, the next scene, and then the next scene. I'm just going to tell my story, and they're telling their story, and adapting the books, and uh, we shall see. That's a ticket, George. No pressure. Book fans will stand by you till the end. Our last story of the week is... Game of Thrones fan picks hint Osha, Rickon, and Theon are on site for Season 6. The actors who play Osha and Rickon have been spotted in Belfast, which means that we will get to see where the unlikely trio, Shaggy Dog included, went to after their parting in Season 3. Book readers know where they went, although what transpired since they split from the main group is unknown. With their story we are delving into Winds of Winter territory, and thus we may only speculate. Alfie Allen has also been spotted, which points to his survival of that fateful jump at the end of Season 5. Moving on into the lands of YouTube, we have quite a few videos to mention this week. Preston Jacobs has released another video in his What You Are Missing series for Season 1 Episode 10 Fire and Blood. He has also put out top 5 most shocking things from George R. Martin's other work. Interesting stuff, all in all. Al Chiftex has released a video about Sir Pounce, in which he addresses the theory that Tommen's kitten is actually Azora High reborn, with some surprising conclusions. Emergency Awesome has released the usual weekly Game of Thrones video plus Q&A. This week he tackles horns in the world of Westeros, their story and significance. Lastly, Red Team Review has put out his review of Season 5 of Game of Thrones. If anyone is interested, check it out. That is the news for the week ending on August 23rd. I hope you have enjoyed it. 
If you have, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned. Have a nice day.